Are you in crypto because you want to be your own bank? These centuries old tools will help you securing your digital money. Want to learn how to use them for optimal cold storage security? Then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Adrian and I'm from Bitcoin for Beginners. And in today's video, we are going to talk about deep cold storage. Being your own bank gives you a lot of individual freedom, but it also comes with extra personal responsibility. As you know, not your private keys, not your coins. Vital elements in securing your cryptocurrency are the backup or recovery or seed phrase of crypto wallets, cold storage that includes paper wallets for your private keys, or hardware wallets, those manage your private keys, or paper or metal backups of hot and hardware wallets. In today's video, we will also be unboxing and give a demo and review of the ultimate deep cold storage solution, the CryptoTags virtually indestructible offline titanium premium backup. And at the end of the video, we will be putting it all together and you will understand the tools to leverage cold storage by using a six step simple process for optimal security being your own crypto bank. Just for disclosure, this video is not sponsored by CryptoTag. We did receive a free model of the CryptoTag for demonstration. We do, however, provide an affiliate link, which you can find in the description. If you purchase through this link, this helps us to support our educational content. And at the same time, it will help you to secure your wallet backups to the highest level. To understand the relationship between seed phrase, private key and wallet address, you should know that the private key signs the transaction to prove ownership of the coins. And you need to keep the private key secret at all times. The public key is derived from the private key and the wallet address is on its turn derived from the public key. And the cryptographic beauty is that you cannot retrieve the private key from the wallet address. Here you see how a Bitcoin wallet address looks like and the secret private key. Currently, most single currency or Bitcoin only wallets use a seed phrase. And these can generate multiple private keys with multiple wallet addresses attached to it. The seed phrase is a code translated in human readable words. Because this seed phrase gives access to all your Bitcoin wallet addresses, you need to keep it secret. In multi-currency or universal wallets that hold different types of crypto assets, the same seed phrase can be used to generate the private keys and addresses for all the different types of crypto assets. In this overview, you can see the differences between hot storage and cold storage. Hot wallets are usually software wallets that are connected with the internet, such as desktop wallets and mobile wallets. The private keys for these wallets are stored on the computer itself and therefore more vulnerable for hacker attacks. They are convenient to use, but they have a lower security and should only be used for storing smaller amounts of crypto relatively shortly. Cold storage are cold wallets that are not connected with the internet, such as hardware wallets, paper wallets, and even metal wallets. Private keys for all these wallets are stored offline, and the hardware wallets are even convenient to use and very safe for larger amounts. The metal wallets are the safest for large amounts and for long-term durable storage. First type of cold storage is the paper wallet. It's an offline storage of the seed phrase or the private keys written or printed on paper and they should not be stored on any computer device. On the image here you see a paper sheet of a recovery phrase and here a printed private key paper wallet. Pros are that they are the cheapest cold storage solution. You can store access to your coins offline safe from hackers. Cons are that it requires some extra skill to generate keys securely in case of paper wallets for private keys. And paper is very vulnerable, more about that later. The recommendation that I have for paper wallets is to use only seed phrases as backup for wallets with small funds in the form of paper. It's better to avoid paper wallet generators for generating and storing private keys. Next, the hardware wallet. Most famous examples are the Ledger and the Trezor. They are a dedicated device that stores private keys and signs transactions offline, isolated from the internet connected software wallet. The private keys are never exposed to a computer device. Hackers can't access them even if the computer is compromised. Pros are the private keys and the signing of transactions are very secure and offline. Despite the high level of security, they are still convenient for frequent use of the wallet as well as for huddle purposes. Cons are it costs money, but it is an investment in security. However, the wallet is as secure as the paper seed phrase backup is, and paper by its properties is not so secure. The solution for that might be deep cold storage in the form of metal wallets. A metal wallet is practically a metal version of a paper wallet. They are suitable for deep cold storage, and that is the long storage of your backup. Pros are they are much safer against destruction by fire, water, crushing or other natural elements than a paper wallet is. Perhaps it's cheaper to acquire all the different tools and metal yourself and make them in a do-it-yourself fashion. 
but you will save much more time and get a much better destruction resistant result by buying a metal wallet product. The cons are of course that it costs money. However, it's an investment in even a higher level of security. And it requires a little more time and effort than just writing down words on paper. But I assure you, it is worth the effort. But before we make a backup of our seed phrases or private keys for cold storage, let's go through some do's and don'ts. First, the do's. And that is, keep your backup seed phrase and private keys a secret. Don't give or share it with anyone. Anybody that has it can spend your coins. Write down the 12 or 24 word phrase on a piece of paper. Use a hard underground so that it doesn't leave imprints of the writing. Check if there are no cameras or other people around that can spy on your writing. Ideally, you should convert paper backup into a metal backup, such as the crypto tag. Investigate any wallet before entering private keys or your 12 to 24 word phrase. Make at least two copies of the 12 to 24 word backup seed phrase. Keep the word seed phrase backup somewhere safe. Make have at least one of your copies off-site and on a different location than the wallet. Check occasionally, but in a secure manner, if the backup is still available and not compromised. The don'ts for storage of your backup seed phrase. Do not export your private keys unless it is absolutely necessary, because exporting increases the risk of exposing your private keys. Do not enter your seed phrase or private keys without verifying the legitimacy of the wallet or website. Don't print your 12, 24 word seed phrase, especially not on a shared printer. Do not take a picture of the seed phrase or your private key. Do not keep your 12 or 24 word backup seed phrase on a computer, smartphone or in the cloud, even if it's an encrypted file. As mentioned before, the greatest vulnerability of any wallet or hardware wallet is that usually the backup seed phrase is written and stored on paper. However, there is a high risk of destruction of your paper backups. For example, fire, water or other forms of destruction, such as shredding or even eating by pets or kids. If the backup is destroyed, a wallet cannot be restored if lost, damaged or stolen. The solution is the CryptoTag, a near indestructible premium deep cold storage metal wallet backup product. It's a very clever system of two titanium plates for engraving the 12 to 24 backup phrase. And it's ideal for your hardware wallet backup. It's a high quality complete toolkit with hammer plus letter bits to simply hammer in the words letter by letter. First of all, they are heat resistant, they are corrosion resistant, pressure resistant, impact resistant, and they are hacker proof and trustless, as long as the seed phrase is generated and written securely offline. So let's do some unboxing and try the product out. Tech package was just delivered. It's actually a bit bigger than I expected it, but let's open and see what's inside. This is the box. It says, before you get started, please visit the link to their tutorial. So this is inside. The big hammer. The CryptoTech plates. It feels pretty strong. Matches. And these are all the letters. I don't know if you can see it. So there you go, the content of my crypto tech box. By the way, the matches are to burn the paper with the seed phrase on it after you're done with the engraving. So let's try it out. And it's highly recommended to use the earplugs in your ear. I have here a seed phrase written down. And I have my crypto tag here. I will open it. And here you see you have space for four letters for each word. You can cross out the last letters and you only have to stamp in the first four letters. Okay, we put it in the holder. And then we can use this one for the first line. And we take out the first letter, which is the L in this case. Always check that the crypto tag name is facing to you. So this way, okay, we'll put it in. And then we just stamp it a couple of times. Take it out. 
and as you can see the letter has been engraved in my opinion a fairly simple smooth and easy process to do so i give it a thumbs up and now the crypto tech review the toolkit makes the process quite simple and straightforward in my personal opinion it's definitely a premium and very elegant product it also has a premium price, around $200 for a starter kit, including two plates for two to four wallet backups. They also have a cheaper extension kit, which is only two plates without the toolkit if you have that already. That costs around $119. It's excellent for anyone that doesn't want to compromise on the security of their seed phrase. If you are interested in the product, please use the link in the description. Your purchase supports our channel so we can continue making free content. There are also other metal wallet backup products, for example, Crypto Steel. It's a similar well-known product. It's of stainless steel and the way to make your seed phrase is sliding in small letter tiles which you lock in a metal holder. Which gives it a little more flexibility compared to the CryptoTech because if your wallet is deprecated the seed phrase can be changed. The CryptoTech can be changed because it's designed for lifetime hodling. Another difference is that the product is less expensive than CryptoTech. In a test by Jameson Lop among different metal products, CryptoTech came out favorably. Under extreme heat or pressure, crypto steel might lose tiles, which means that you lose your data. CryptoTech didn't lose any data, it remained readable under all stress tests and received the highest score. Most of the other metal wallets are made of steel, while CryptoTech is made of titanium. The CryptoTech team chose titanium over stainless steel, which is used in most of the other metal products. They made this choice because they found out that titanium is more corrosion resistant than stainless steel. Because it is more flexible, it's also more crack resistant than steel. Steel melts at lower temperatures than titanium, and steel can shatter, whereas titanium can withstand high and low temperatures. Another thing to point out is that CryptoTech is a high-end product and a much more expensive purchase. However, the higher capacity of 48 words is twice as much as competing product, which means the price difference already becomes much smaller for the same capacity. And above that, in my personal opinion, it's a great price quality ratio because of the superior materials such as titanium and the system as a whole. Okay, so now let's put it all together. Keep in mind, security in crypto has many aspects and a long learning curve. The method I propose is a fairly straightforward process and provides the right combination of cold storage tools to achieve a high level of security instantly, to eliminate a great many risk and attack factors, not much tech savviness is required, and besides being perfect for hodlers, it's still also very convenient for frequent crypto users. As a high level overview, it consists of two main parts, which are the hardware wallet to secure your software wallets. That means your private keys are safely stored offline in the hardware device and the CryptoTag titanium plates for your hardware wallet backup seat. If you have never before installed a crypto wallet or made a backup, I suggest you take a screenshot of this slide and practice the whole process by going through each of these steps. If you were able to do the exercise successfully and you are confident that you understand the process, then you can proceed with the six step process and set your seed phrase in stone or titanium in this case. So the six steps are as follow. First, you purchase a hardware wallet directly from the manufacturer and a CryptoTech starter kit by using the link in the description. Two, install the hardware device compatible software wallet on a virus and malware check device. Follow the instructions per the tutorials from the manufacturer. Three, write down the 12 or 24 word phrase of the hardware wallet on paper. And please also follow the do's and don'ts from this tutorial and the manufacturer instructions of the backup process. By the way, step two and three might be reversed depending on the wallet product. And if you are an advanced user, it is also highly recommended to add and back up the 25th word or passphrase. 4. Engrave a copy or copies of the seed phrase into the CryptoTag plates. But before you do, watch the complete CryptoTag tutorial with the instructions on CryptoTag.io slash tutorial. 5. Double check the engraved plates before you're burning the paper version. 6. Hide the plates in a secure place or in a safe, preferably on a separate location from the hardware wallet, and preferably hide multiple copies. This basic method should protect your Bitcoin and alts against, I estimate, 90 to 95 of most common threats. However, in many cases, the number one security threat is the user itself too. That means it is vital to educate yourself. And by doing that, you can gradually increase the security by adding more advanced methods. Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned a ton and can improve your crypto security massively. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. And for now, I wish you all a very nice day.